Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the Dark Side Detective for more point and click adventure game action. We are back where we left off in this costume shop in the Dark Side where we've got Guybrush and uh, Ben and potentially Simon the Sorcerer. I'm not 100% sure on that one, uh, but we're going to have a look around and see what we can find. If you look like this man, this might be a mirror. Also, you may be wanted by the police for questioning. Okay. Amaze your friends, surprise your enemies, confuse real pirates with this inefficient pirate ensemble. <laughs> Comes with a free press ganging. What? Be a badass biker. Bike not included. Are you still a biker without a bike? Be a badass walker. <laughs> Assuming your ass is bad, either in the dangerous sense or the missing a buttock way, <laughs> you're cool. <laughs> Did you write these adverts yourself? No, sir. Came that way, sir. Good words, ain't they, sir? Why does he look like he hasn't got a body? <laughs> um, right. Wizard outfit. A snarky teenage wizard is welcome anywhere. Well, not so much welcome as he'll turn up and then he'll get there, and it's almost as much hassle to get rid of him as it is just to leave him be. It's my usual party vibe anyway, so two thumbs up from me. Okay. An invisible person. Yeah, he is. Welcome, sir. It's our... That is to say, me and I is pleasure to welcome you to Costume Shop. So that is the name. Your broken sign wasn't very clear. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, my old fella said, and if it's broken, maybe don't fix it anyway, his dad. <coughs> Very practical man he was. How can I aid you, sir? Trying to intimidate your direct superior at work? Hoping to wow a six-armed lover? Tired of looking like a hobo? Hey, that's our motto. Whatever your shame, spider's got you covered. Uh, what's this wig? What's this one? Looks normal enough to me. Normal, sir? Why, that's the very pillar Summers are built on, sir. A friend and mentor to those in need. A shoulder to cry on. A person who will live in a wood hut with no air conditioning. The legendary camp counsellor, sir. <laughs> Nobody would buy that as a camp counsellor. Oh, but they do, sir. It's the moustache, sir. Shows them to be rugged wildermen. Suited for the rough and tumble life of a camp counsellor. Not for the timid folk like you and I, sir. No, sir. Not for shop vendors and coat warmers, no. <laughs> Alright, I guess we can't take that. There's a cash register. Sir, I'll ask you mighty nice, but once, keep your sausage fingers from my money box. Okay, uh, punk wig. Dress like a punk or a road warrior from the future, or um, you could wear this and be a, I don't know, a carrot. Well, I'm convinced. Um, okay, so we've got this weird thing. I wonder if we can show this to him. No, it doesn't feel right. Okay. Alright, so I wonder if there's anything else. Nope. Hmm. So we can't... It doesn't look like we can really... Oh, bits box. It's full of ones and zeros. How would anyone wear these? <laughs> Says sir while wearing a brown bin bag. Come on, guy. This is a nice coat. And they say the customer is always right. Uh, okay, so it doesn't really look like there's an awful lot in here. Wait, hang on. For pickup. Maybe we've got to pick up a thing. One tick, sir. Oh. Miss, Miss Biscotti, I does beg your pardon, Miss. I should have known. Obvious to me now it is. I'll get your items for you now, Miss. Oh, um, yes, thanks. Then here you go, Miss. One swim cap. Thanks, I guess. So we've got a swim cap now. That's interesting. An almost skin-coloured swimming cap. Not really sure why we'd need that, but... I guess that was the reason for coming in here. Uh, we read that, didn't we? Burning barrel. Ah, oh, help! I'm on fire! What on earth? Haha, <laughs> I'm a burning trash barrel. I'm meant to be on fire, you gonk. The look on your face. Brilliant. I'm... I'm not even... Okay, weird. Um, we read this, didn't we? Trains not run on time. Yeah. Uh, the debris... We've looked at... Okay, so I guess we go back down then. We've got the ticket machine, we've got the handle... We got the mould. Machine crying. Yeah, that was weird, wasn't it? Not sure why it would be crying. Anyway, let's go back down to the platform then. Sing me a song. That's how buskers work here. I don't know. Uh, so, we can go down the platform. This is a restricted area. Classified personnel only. Are you a classified personnel? No, I did not think so. On account of myself and McScream being the only one who is. So unless you is one of us, I suggest you step back, son. Step back. 
I wonder if we can make ourselves look like the other guy. This guy. Uh, I thought we did all this. I thought we had... Yeah, we did. We asked him all this. Alright, so maybe we have to... I need to find something to complete this disguise before I put it on. Right, so we've got the beard. Now I guess I can dress up as Agent McScream whenever I want. Yay. Okay, so we've got the bad disguise then. So let's put it on. Doesn't feel the right, the right place to wear this. Okay. Now. Time to try this. I can't bring myself to call it a disguise. Time to try whatever this is out, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. It's terrible. Do you think, son, that I've not seen my share of disguises? This one is particularly poor, what with it being partially made up of some fungus and you lacking a certain floaty, transparent quality. Okay, so we're perhaps going to need a real beard. And to be able to float? I'm not really sure how we're going to do that. Um, hmm, that could be an issue. How are we going to make ourselves float? Hmm, interesting. Right, let's go back outside. Even making progress. Working on it. Good, keep it up, son. So perhaps we can swap... Hang on, wrong way. Perhaps we can swap the mould... Oh, hang on, we've lost it. We've lost our disguise. Weird. So... Well, I was going to say, perhaps we can... Right, so... Weird. Right, he's calling us Miss now because of the pickup. Um, hmm. Strange. Maybe we'll have to go back through then to the, the bright side. Hang on, let me just try using this on this machine. No, okay. Never mind. So we can't go down here. Oh, we can! He's letting us down here now. I guess the disguise half worked after all. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, it's full of pictures of you playing a game where a tiny pixel man looks in a trash can <laughs> at pictures of you. Right, the control room. We can get into it here. There's a key. Who doesn't like having keys? Hmm. Right, poster. Looks like he hung in there for too long. <laughs> okay, bin. A note saying she loathes me, she loathes me not. Nice healthy relationship. Uh, what's the deal with the computer? All systems operating correctly. Line 1 power control system. Everything seems to be working correctly here. Let's not touch anything. Okay. So maybe we need to use this key back in the bright side to access, well, perhaps this room in the bright side, I guess. So let's just check the toilet first. Looking good, Frankie. I think you've let yourself go. Shut up, Reflection. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Why is this boarded up? Oh, it sounds like there's something in there. Unknowable thing, growling, scratching, banging on door. Ugh, I hope that... Yeah, let's, let's hope he can't get out of there. This place looks familiar. Either that's a clue or there's one lazy artist hanging around here. Yeah, the graffiti again. Huh, the water goes both clockwise and counterclockwise here. <laughs> yeah, so it's... I need a full plunger for that. Okay. Well, maybe we can find... Hang on, we've been in that one. Seems to be something stuck in there. That's better. John. Thanks. Um, I mean, flush. <gasps> it's the plunger head. Right. The ultimate accessory in toilet debungification. <laughs> okay, we've got a plunger now. For plunging things. The keys label control room. Right, okay. So I think I know what we've got to do then. Let's head... Uh, could we go further down there? No. Right, let's head back to the bright side. What's that you have there? 
It's, it smells of evidence to me. But you should not take it beyond this place. Looks like I have to put this key back until I find some other way to get it past him. Oh, maybe we can flush it. Do you reckon we can flush it? Which cubicle was... It's probably this one, right? Because I think... Wasn't the tentacle in the middle one? Right, I feel like I should investigate this toilet further before feeding it keys. Okay. Did you... Did you just say flush? No. You definitely did. I'm a detective. I don't miss things like t talking toilets. Ah, oh, you got me. I can talk. Big whoop. Just do your business and move on. I ain't breaking no laws, cop. I'm okay, thanks. Talking toilet, eh? And I thought I had a crappy job. Cut me a break. It pays the bills. Besides, I've got dreams, man. I'm going to be a star. Dreams? I'm going to be a comedian, man. Want to hear a joke? As long as they're not too crappy. <laughs> Everyone's a comedian. Forget it, man. Okay, so... Seriously, I want to hear one of your jokes. Okay. Why wouldn't Rex bark? He was a goldfish. What the hell? Back for more? Go on. Why did the guy throw the butter out the window? He wanted to see a butterfly. Jeez. <laughs> Can't stay away, can you? One more. What do you call a donkey with three legs? A wonky? No, you call it a donkey. It's physical disability. You should have no bearing on how you see it, you monster. <sighs> God. Here's one for you. What's green and smelly? It always comes back to toilet humour with you humans. Oh, look. Mr. Potty Mouth is back. It's just a joke. I forgive you, man. I'd hate to be a party pooper. Badum -tsh. I'm here all week. Try the veal. <laughs> I'm joking. Don't try the veal. This is a bathroom, not a fancy restaurant. I'm going now. I don't blame you. <clears throat> now I'm done with this guy. Besides, I have a case to solve for it. Okay. Well, we got an achievement for that. Toilet humour. Um... I wonder if we can plunge this. Nothing to plunge here. <laughs> Alright, so he won't let us take the key. Perhaps we can put the key back for now. Someday you'll be mine, little key. Right, okay. So I think we might have to go back to the bright side, use the plunger on the purple tentacle to get rid of him, and then maybe we can flush the key. So let's try that. Uh, back to the platform. Toilets, here we go. Stupid rat, get out of here. Right, yeah, so it is this one with the graffiti where the tentacle is, so let's plunge him. Right, you little sucker. Ha, sucker, tentacles, very good. I should be helping, shouldn't I? You should. Flush. He's gone. I wonder where the wee fella is now. Right. So is he in the dark side now then? Let's see. Back through the train. Right, here he is. There's my little wriggly buddy. So this is where I sent you, eh? I'm getting attached to this little guy. I should name him Purple. I name you Purple. <laughs> Very good. Uh, so... Hang on. I'm getting confused with the, the doors being the other way around. Right, let's take the key. So do we give the key to the purple tentacle then? And then plunge him? Hold on to this for me, will you, buddy? Yes, we do. Right. And then we'll plunge him. When I plunge you, purple, remember that I plunge you with love. <laughs> God. Flush. Right, he's gone. So, back to the bright side again. Okay, back into the eerie train. Back to the platform. And now into the toilets. And now we'll take our key. Thanks, Purple. Did you name the tentacle Purple? Don't be jealous, Dooley. You're still my favourite. <laughs> okay, we've got the key back and he's gone now. Bye-bye, purple tentacle. Right, let's use the key then to get through this door. Seems to have worked. Let's see what's behind door number two. <gasps> what? How'd you get in? Tam locked that door from the inside. This is your handiwork, I take it. 
They shouldn't have fired old Tamp for sleeping on the job. Okay, so this guy's in here causing some sort of problems. Stop going through the trash, an unexpected but strangely relevant note. Nice rack. <laughs> Get out of here. I've seen what happens if you hang on for too long, yeah. What are you talking about? I've seen things, Dooley. So, ritual stuff. Looks like this place was the scene of some occultic goings on. The cinnamon candles remind me of Christmas though, which is nice. <laughs> Old Tam always was fond of Christmas. Peppy used to buy us all trains and Mama gave us voodoo dolls. Magical time of year. <laughs> okay, so. What's going on with this computer then? Right, there's some sort of disc in here. Screen. This is some bad hoodoo. Tam must have installed an occult virus on the controls that's causing all these problems. Eject. An old floppy disk popped out. This must be how the virus was installed. Could prove useful. Okay, so we've got a cursed disk now. Three and a half inches of innuendo laden evil. Right, there's nothing less to eject. Right, let's talk to Tam. People will think twice about firing old Tam now. They'll think twice about hiring you too. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. So the... Weird. Detective? Yes. Have we tried turning it off and back on again? <laughs> Which, the computer? I was going to say the train station, but what you said makes more sense. Stay here, duty, and make sure this guy doesn't get away. But then how is old Tam meant to escape? That's... that's the point. Ah, well that ain't fair. Okay, so... Can we install this in the dark side I'm guessing we do maybe that will close the portal or something I don't know Ooh, or maybe she'll be able to help with this actually Rex I think you can make any sense of this let me see oh this is an occult virus yeah I think it's to blame for all this going on I can probably talk you through how to make an antivirus on my machine that's what I was hoping for thanks Rex is coming in really useful. Oh, it's another puzzle. So, what do I do? You need to clean the infection disc sectors. Sounds easy. Not so easy. It's a virus, so each sector you clean will infect those around it. You can also lure the virus from infected sectors onto clean ones, cleaning the infected areas. Why would I do that? To beat the virus, you have to make sure it has nowhere to hide. That would involve tricking it. This sounds harder than I was expecting. Don't worry, I've made a backup. Just hit reset if you need to roll back so you can start again. Thanks. Okay, let's do this. Right, so I have no idea what we've got to do here. It's another puzzle. Um, let me have a drink first. There we go. It's getting a dry throat. Um, so, oh. Oh, I see. So we've got to... To basically trap the virus. But does that so what? We've got to turn it all green or that's not that's what I'm not too sure about. Are we trying to Are we trying to turn the whole thing green or I'm not really sure what Right, okay. So let's let's think about this for a second. Okay, so we need to get this one to be green. Um so what do we want the middle one to be the virus, I'm guessing? Or do we not want the middle one to be the virus? That's what I'm... Hmm. Not 100% certain. She said about trapping it. So... Perhaps we want it to be in the middle. I feel like I'm probably missing something here. Let's reset. So... Okay. Sorry, I know I'm not talking a lot, but I'm trying to sort of... I don't know if we're supposed to be turning them all green. 
or, or what what the end goal is here right so so that didn't work if we do I am pretty confused by this. I'm not really sure what we're supposed to be doing. I don't know if we're supposed to be turning them all green, or if we're supposed to be trapping one of the red ones, or... Or what we're supposed to be doing, really. Um... Yeah, it's a little bit unclear, in my opinion. There we go. We got it. Finally. Okay. I think that's it. So we had to sort of trap it all and then turn it so it couldn't go anywhere else. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. Great. And you're sure this will work? Sure is a strong word when dabbling with the occult, but I think so. Yes. Well, if it does, the city owes you big time. Really? Because I'm only on this train due to a mountain of parking tickets. <laughs> We've got an antivirus disc, so we're going to have to install that. Um... Yeah, do you know what? We'll do it now. Right, so, let's go back then. <laughs> we'll head onto the train. We've got enough time to do this. We'll head into the control room. And we'll install the antivirus. And hopefully, upload an antivirus now. Yay, there goes the dark side train. And here comes the bright side train. Excellent, we did it. Excellent. Great work, detective. You've got the trains moving again. Dooley, you understand what just happened here, right? No? Let's get this guy to the cells. Ah ha ha! How are you going to get me there? Train ain't running. We just, we just talked about how that was fixed. Weren't you listening? Plus, we have this car. This has not been a good day for Tan. It has not. Case closed. There we go. Well, it's good we used the antivirus disc then, wasn't it? Because um, we were seconds away from completing the case. So, the next one is called Police Farce. And I think that's where we'll leave it for today. We'll start case four in the next episode. Three cases down already. Um, six more to go. So we're a third of the way through the game, which is pretty cool. And I'm still really enjoying it. We got a little bit stuck on that puzzle at the end there, but I figured it out in the end. It... I didn't actually cut it or anything, um, but I didn't think it was overly clear what we were supposed to be doing, but we figured it out, so that's the main thing. Um, and that's going to do it for this episode, so as always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button, it really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so, and I'll see you all next time.